Hey, what's going on guys? It's Kova here and we're back with some transfer gossip. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so for these videos every single damn day. So we're starting off with Jeff Hendrick, who had a great Euros um, and Burnley have been in interested in him for a very long time. They're ready to increase their offer to £6 million to try and get him to turf more. Next up is Subotic. Covered this one a few days ago about him going to Middlesbrough. That is apparently now very, very close to happening. They've agreed an £8.3 million deal for the Serbian. Um, and it's, it's a deal subject to work permit. So, you know, he's played in Europe for a long time for a big, big club. I think he's obviously played a fair few internationals. So he should get that work permit, no issues at all. Especially with, obviously, England still being in the Euro European Union. So that should be fine. No problems there. £8.3 million deal. Next up is Varea. He obviously, I covered about uh, Manchester United having a big clear out, and Varea was on the list there. And Eintracht Frankfurt are interested in getting him. Um, I can, I'll probably see more clubs than you know a lower German t team. Um, you know, going for him. In fact, Frankfurt have done quite well recently, but uh, they're not the best of teams overall. They don't have like that the uh, stature of other clubs. Next up is James McCarthy, an interesting one that Stoke City are actually rumoured to be going for him. They've made a few inquiries into getting the midfielder to uh, to their their club. I think he's the type of player that they do need, you know, a bit of a battler in centre midfield along with Imbula, and that could be a great partnership in centre mid for Stoke. Next up is Paul Pogba. Obviously, you know, it just goes on and on and on. Like Ante, he features a hell of a lot in these transfer daily news and you know he's confirmed interest today in joining Man U saying that he feels like they are his first family I don't know if that's first family in terms of like football sense or whether it's just like first family in like a real term sense which is a bit crazy but he has uh, confirmed that he's interested in joining Manchester United it's just about the two clubs agreeing a fee and obviously you know what Pogba gets in terms of wages and you know personal issues and stuff like that Next up is Moussa Sissoko, getting a link with a move to Dortmund. Now, not if you know Newcastle holding on to a £35 million evaluation for him. I doubt any club will go for him, but uh, Dortmund are showing an interest. Obviously, it should be about how much they'd have to pay and stuff like that. They do need to replace Mkhitaryan, and Sissoko can play on that right-hand side. Next up is Giacchirini, one player that is leaving the uh, Premier League. Obviously, he's currently a Sunderland player, and he is going to Napoli for a measly £1.2 Obviously, I think he's about 32, so that makes sense. His fee is quite low, but he did have a good Euro, so I think Sunderland could have pushed for a bit more. Next up is Paye. He's one player who is staying. He's come out today and said he's 100% staying at West Ham, at least for another season. You know, If he has another world-class season... You could see him go in January, possibly even towards the end of the season. You know, that could happen. Shakiri is next up. Again, you know, another wing getting linked with Dortmund. They are ready to obviously replace Mkhitaryan. They did sign Emre, Emre Tor, is it? I think he's a Turkish international. But they do need someone who's a bit more ready to go. Obviously, you know, they've signed a lot of youngsters, young, youngsters with a hell of a lot of potential. But, uh, you know, they need an, an established right mid. And they've obviously got Sissoko to go, go, go for him and also go for Shakiri. Next up is Balotelli. He could move to China. I think that their transfer window's got about another week, week and a half left left in it. So uh, Balotelli could end up in a Chinese club. Obviously, he would be a big name signing. How much of a fee? I'm not too sure. Obviously, when they're touting a fee of like 36 million for Igalo, wouldn't surprise me if someone did actually pay 20 million for Balotelli, which would be crazy. Next up is Higuain. Now, this is the big one today. He's apparently agreed a Juventus deal. But Juventus are reluctant to pay his big fee that Napoli wants, which is about £80 million. Uh, so they may offer players in exchange. So you may see Mandzukic um, go to Napoli. Wouldn't surprise me if something like that happened. Um, possibly one or two other squad players that Juventus have got. But that is the big news. Higuain is on the verge of a move to Juventus. Obviously, I covered it as a Arsenal story. I think not yesterday, day before. And obviously, a hell of a lot of other clubs have been interested in him as well. But Juventus look like they've won the race to sign him, which is not really a Juventus move, but you know, to pay big money. But we, we'll see. It could be turned out to be like a brilliant move by them. Another Burnley deal on the go is Chung Young. Burnley are interested in signing uh, the winger from Crystal Palace. Uh, I think it'd be a solid deal, to be honest. You know, if you can get him for one, two, maybe three million, you can't really argue with that. And finally, we end on Joel Campbell. Arsene Wenger came out today and said he, he can leave. He can go and find himself a new club. He's basically effectively told Joel Campbell to find a new club. 
So that is it for all of today's news, guys. Obviously, the big one being Pogba saying he wants to you know, go to uh, Man U. And Juventus agreeing a deal for Higuain is crazy. So, guys, if you did enjoy, as always, hit that like button. And I shall see you in the next one.